Hi math friends, today we're looking at calculating the percent of a number. In this one we're looking at benchmarks. So benchmarks are going to be things that are easier for us to think of. Um, certain benchmarks like 0% of anything would be 0, 100% of a number would be the number itself, 50% would be half, and from that 50% I can either cut the number in half to find 25%, or I can cut the number in half and then add it to 50 to get to 75. So these are ones that are more common and easier to, to calculate. The ones that we're going to be looking at today are between 0 and 15%, specifically 10%, which should be easy to calculate. From 10%, we can also get to 5. And then from 15%, if we add whatever values we got for 10 and 5, we should get 15%. So the reason that we're going to do this is because 15 and 20 percent are typical amounts to make tips of. So if you're at a restaurant or you're somewhere where you would normally tip somebody, they're good percents to know how to do um, mentally. So we're going to use benchmarks to calculate these without a calculator. Um, remember that 10 percent means that we take our decimal and we move it one space to the left. So 10 percent of 30 is 3. Let's look at how to find 5%. We know what 10% is. We divide that by 2. Cutting any number in half should be fairly simple. Even if we're going to get a decimal, half of 3 is 1.5. Or a dollar and 50 cents here. Remember, if, there, if it's 1.5, you have to put a 0 at the end. All right, so if we're calculating 15% of 30, I know 10% is 3. I know 5% is 1.5. I add them together, so I get $4.50. Again, these should be things that are easier to do mentally. More examples. Let's look at 20% of 23. So first, we're going to find 10% by moving the decimal over one place. So 10% is 2.3, or $2.30. So that's going to be 10%. And I need to think of a strategy. I don't always want to jump to 5%. If I know 10% is 230, and I want to find 20%, 20 is just two tens, right? So I'm going to take another 10%. Add those together, and I'm going to get $4.60. You don't need to use a calculator or do any long multiplication here. Just move the decimal once, and then we have two of those. Similar idea for the next one, 15% of 12. Well, let's find 10% first. 10% would be 1.2, or $1.20. 5%, because we want to get to 15, so I need 10 and 5. Remember, 5% 5 is going to be half of whatever I got for 10. So 120 divided by 2, 60 cents. Ten and five would be fifteen. So I add the values that I got there. I don't do ten plus five. I add the values that I got here, and I'm gonna get a zero here, an eight, and a one. So my final answer for fifteen percent of twelve dollars would be a dollar eighty.